and thank you for tuning in i know a lot of y'all have been waiting for this vlog for a whole year and it's worth it because for the next like year for the next couple of videos oh i need to slow my brain down my brain is racing <laughs> um i'm a little nervous i guess so it's like i have like brain farts <laughs> my brain just blank out like <laughs> anyway um, we're going to be talking about Dr. Samson, and here's why. Because of, I feel like a lot of people that are considering Dr. Samson as your surgeon of choice for your BBLs, you guys need to keep factoring, you guys need to factor in a few ideas. That one, no girl's body is the same when you are paying to contour your body. There's a difference... Seduction does not do aggressive lipo. The more they, the most they do, I believe, is 300 cc's. And I'm not a mathematician, and based on my results, it is not a lot. I don't know if 300 cc's was taken and placed into my ass. When I look at my ass, it doesn't look like 300 cc's. It looks like I have a little Dominican bubble butt, which that's not what I wanted. I wanted a black old booty, and he was promoted as the the king of that for the price that I paid and unfortunately no all Dr. Samson did honestly was remove all the weight from my stomach and gave me an hourglass shape with wise and gave me mad hips so I'm walking around looking like a cute ass Dominican black girl mad hips no ass for days like and I think New Yorkers know what I'm talking about because growing up like I remember, like, in high school, we used to be like, yo, like, that girl have mad hips, but when she turns around, there's no ass. Like, <laughs> so it's like that with Dr. Sampson, with my body. The thing with Dr. Sampson, another another thing with Dr. Sampson is that you can't go to him and tell him what you want for your body. He tells you what's right for your body. Like, during this, um, before he does a surgery, he introduced what he's doing. Okay, I'm, this is lipo, this is cells. Cells die after a couple of days, certain amount of days, blah, blah, blah. You know, everybody's different, blah, blah. He, gives, he, he goes through the whole thing. Now, my experience was that, yo, Dr. Samson, I really want a fat butt. Like, this is what I really want. Like, I really want a nice Coke shape, blah, blah, blah. I want... You know, like what the pictures that I sent you, <laughs> you know, on your D and your DM. Like we have full blown conversations. And this nigga did whatever the fuck he wanted. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing hysterically because it's like, yo, you pay like thousands of dollars to wake up looking like something. And then you wake up and you look like something else. But don't get me wrong. After the surgery, you feel like shit, but when you see the results when your butt is, like, super fat and swollen, oh, my God, it looks beautiful. And now I know why girls keep going back and getting it done again. Done. Unfortunately, I can't do that. But now I get it because I've been sitting there like, yo, like, the way my ass looked when that shit was full and voluptuous and fat and firm and, oh, my God, this was this is what an ass is supposed to feel and look like. But a year later, even with exercise and weight training, like, I lost that big butt. Like, <laughs> my butt went bye-bye. The cells died. That's what happened. The fat cells in my ass died. And a lot of them did. I don't know if he used cell savers on my ass. Now I hear that they're using it. So I'm like, oh, shit. They probably didn't use cell savers on my ass. They just pump. They just clean the blood or whatever it is that they did. And straight up put in my butt. And clearly they didn't put no extra juice to make it last. However, like I said, frame-wise, I got it. When you turn it around, it's like... not much of anything going on back there not at all so i do plan on getting like extra work done but i'm gonna go to a more aggressive doctor like someone recommend dr bodak and stuff like that for an extra three thousand on top of the three thousand i have wasted at seductions that i started at seductions i'm not gonna shit on them like that even though i want to but i'm grateful i'm grateful for the little things 
even though I don't like little things, I'm grateful for the little things. And if it's little, I work on making it bigger. Like, that's just me. Like, that's an attribute of mine. Like, go big or go home. So, with that said, um, Dr. Samson, for those who are considering him, I feel like the women that he advertised are women that are big already. Okay? I'm talking about big women, had five, six kids, you know, ate a lot, like, did surgery, did a weight loss surgery, lost weight, and they already had those assets, but they just want to clean it up a little bit. Like, you know, contour here, tuck in there, tummy tuck here, breast lift here. Like, they seduction is for those type of people. Like, after years of working hard and taking care of kids and just taking care of everybody else but yourself and you want to invest in yourself and invest in your beauty, seduction is made for people like that. Like, the most natural of looks. Clearly... I thought that version would have been good enough for me, but it wasn't. So I want something more aggressive, more aggressive. I want more ass. Like, I want more ass for myself. Like, if I got enough on me, like, I want ass for me. Like, <laughs> I want to see myself in an ass dress, like, straight up. Um, so, again, with that, I will be going over the video and editing. And if there's anything I haven't touched, I will touch on it again. But seductions is all right. But like I said, it's more for the natural route and not for the voluptuous, aggressive lipo, like the Instagram hoes that we low-key idolize but don't want to acknowledge. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. Like, come on. Don't lie to yourself. Like, we all know where that trigger comes from. Like, you love yourself. But them girls are inspiring me to love myself a little more. <laughs> so, like, with seduction down, like I said, it's a natural route. It ain't for everybody. There are more aggressive doctors, which, I, like I said, I consider doing. But Dr. Samson, like, he did me basic. <laughs> he did me so basic. And the butts that he advertised are girls that already had some work done truth is they already had some work done and they want a little more just three thousand dollars worth or more you understand and or two thousand dollars a little more you know um but for naturalness yeah seductions but you want a little something more girl and you don't have nothing like for instance if your shape is a square or your apple like all your weight is up here and you just have nothing but legs in the bottom seductions is not for you <laughs> like or if you are already hourglass and you have a butt and you just want it to be contoured because it dropped a certain way or it's a little crooked or it's a little wrong and stuff it makes you uncomfortable when you wear certain clothes you're insecure about it so that's just for you, you can fix those little things but if you're a girl with no body and you need a body and you want a banging body nah the one person that had it down pat when it came to the body like, he passed away, and that's Dr. Warrell. Rest in peace. But everybody else in seductions are basic as fuck, which is to some people are a good thing. But I've talked to girls who left that surgery, and I'm talking about they they came, they left with the ass that they came with. <laughs> like, I left, I came with no ass, and I left with a mediocre ass. And the massages and seductions, honestly, I don't believe you should invest in them. They have a little hammer and they just touch your stomach. No, that's not how you do cavitations. I can also, I've learned how to do cavitations. I taught myself cavitations. I also bought a cavitation machine and stuff like that. I probably need to upgrade it. I bought a cavitation and I will do a video where I'm actually cavit you know, doing the cavitation and how you're supposed to lift and put the machine up in your belly and pressing on your skin so you can really get that fat to melt and you can pee it out you know what i'm saying because that's what that shit is it's melting the fat stimulating the lymph nodes and you pee and shit the rest of the, the access out that's what that cavitation is like but anyway that's that i don't know what i'm missing because i'm actually looking around because like it's getting dark and the sky is changing and this is not my hood i'm from brooklyn and this is how i am and you know ain't nothing against it it's just that you know when your environment the one some environment is not yours so you pretend like it's yours but really you're like 
I don't like how these niggas move out here. <laughs> and shit, and it's hot. Like, oh, it's just so much. I've been living here going on three years, and I still haven't adjusted. The first mission was getting me a car and stuff, education, et cetera, et cetera. But whatever. Anyway, Doctor Sampton, you are it, bro. But that whole king of the king of the ass, I'm taking that back because that ain't you, bro. You king of the arrow glass. <laughs> You king of the arrow glass, but you ain't king of the ass. Like, you can make any girl look like an arrow glass shape with a little fault in it. Because sometimes that arrow glass shape just look like a, I look like an old lady. Like, sometimes I have to put a little spank just to secure, like, my waist a little more. So it looks like the, a natural small waist, big ass. But when I'm butt naked, I ain't feeling this body butt naked. I only feel this body when I wear clothes. And that's not a good thing. I'm not supposed to feel my body when I'm wearing clothes. I'm supposed to feel my body when I'm naked. That's the whole principle why I did the surgery. Because it's like I want to take off my clothes and see myself and go... <gasps> Oh, damn, girl, you look good. You look blessed. <clears throat> you look financially stable. Like, you know, like, that was the whole point. But, no, I just look good in clothes. So, it's like, kind of money wasted. Really? You understand? So, now we have to go to Dr. Dobak to get something, like, real firm aggressiveness aggressive lipo they say i thought that was you but no that's really not you pretend to be but you're strict as fuck yeah get down to the point yeah like you're all of that yeah but you're not king of the ass bro you're king of the arrow glass and i'm not even saying king i'll say prince because i still gotta wear Spanx, and i still gotta wear faha to achieve the look i want to when i paid money to not do that so I could still achieve the look that I want to. But anyway, I have so much more to say about you, but it's going to be done collectively. Because <laughs> I want to be fair. I want to really break down the experiences. And I also want to talk about how I felt after. You know, and I also want to talk about other alternatives besides you, Dr. Sampson. And besides you, Seductions. There are other alternatives with the same price that's giving way better results. And I'm going to let them know there are way better results out there. All right? So, yeah, much love. Thank you for watching my channel. And have a good one and stay tuned.